This video demonstrates the step-by-step -step procedure to install the 24-inch CAFE double dishwasher drawer. It covers the installation instructions for the CDD420P model. Before proceeding with the installation, ensure that the dishwasher is completely closed at the time of installation. Opening a drawer will cause the dishwasher to tip forward when it is not fully installed. Hold the drawer handle securely with one hand and the top of the dishwasher with the other hand. Utilize a qualified technician for proper installation to reduce the risk of personal injury or damage to the product. As the first step, determine the location and identify the clearance specifications. The double dishwasher drawer fits into a standard cutout. The inside height of the cavity must be a minimum of 34 inches, inside width 23 and 5 eighths inches, and inside depth a minimum of 22 and 1 16th inch. A minimum clearance of half inch is required from a corner cabinet to the unit, and a minimum clearance of 1 16th inch to the adjacent cabinet door is required. The unit's overall height is 34 inches when the legs are retracted and 36 and 3 8 inch when the legs are extended. Width is 23 and 9 16 inches and the depth is 22 and 9 16 inches. The maximum extension of the drawer is 21 and 9 16 inches. The table on the screen displays the other major dimensions of the unit. If the sink is on the left of the dishwasher, the drain hose can extend up to 78 and a half inches. The inlet hose can extend up to 64 and 3 quarters inches, and the power cord up to 29 and a half inches. If the sink is on the right of the dishwasher, the drain hose length can extend up to 70 and a half inches. The inlet hose can extend up to 60 inches and the power cord up to 27 and a half inches. Do not shorten the inlet hose. Use the entire length. Service holes can be located on either side of the dishwasher, close to the rear face and the floor for access to the water supply, drain, and power outlet. The hole for the hose is to be two and a quarter inches and the hole for the power cord is to be one and a half inches. To prevent hose kinks, the whole edges must be at a maximum distance of a half inch from the floor and quarter inch from the rear inner edge. The power outlet must be in a cabinet adjacent to the dishwasher cavity. Refer to the installation manual if a power outlet is not available. The hardware supplied along with the unit is displayed on the screen. The hardware required to install the dishwasher is displayed on the screen. Note that these are not provided with the product. Make sure that the appliance is properly grounded. Before proceeding with the installation, please ensure to remove house fuse or open circuit breaker. Do not use an extension cord or adapter plug with this appliance. Supply the dishwasher with 120 volts, 60 hertz, and protect it with a 15 or 20 amp circuit breaker or time delay fuse. Call a licensed electrician if the electrical supply does not meet these requirements. Remove packing foam from the top and front of the unit. Then, place the unit on its back and remove the packing from the bottom. Straighten the unit and place it in front of the cavity. Note that there is a protective material in the front of the unit that should not be removed until the unit is installed. Before you secure the unit into the cavity, ensure that the cavity is dry and apply the moisture protection tape. 
To secure the unit into the cavity, initially level the product in front of the cavity. Tie the hoses together using tape for ease of passing them through the service hole. Raise or lower the product by twisting the feet and level. Then push it into the cavity using the edges of the doors. Do not push in the center. Pull the hoses and cord as you push the unit in so that the hoses do not get twisted. Note, you can also install the unit without removing the lower drawer. Refer to the installation instructions for the alternate method, option B. Next, to remove the lower drawer, pull the lower drawer. Press the release tabs on either side and push back to release the drawer from the runners. Lift drawer off the runners and place the drawer to the right of the dishwasher, resting on its right-hand side on a protective surface. This will help to prevent kinked hoses. Push the drawer runners back on either side. You can then secure the unit to the side cabinetry. To secure the unit to the side cabinetry, pull the runners halfway out. Lift up or press down the rails to raise or lower the cabinet while adjusting the legs. Use hexagonal socket of appropriate length to adjust the legs. For further adjustment, extend the leveling feet up to the required distance by hand. Secure the unit using two pairs of formed brackets. Repeat on the other side of the chassis. Make sure the product is in level with the cabinetry. Before you refit the drawer onto the runners, make sure the hoses are not twisted and the latches at the rear of the drawer runners are facing forward. To refit the drawer onto the runners, place the drawer back on the drawer runners by lifting it or rotating it counterclockwise. Slip your finger under the slide and pull the release tabs forward four inches on both sides. Ensure that the tabs are fully pulled forward and locked into place. Remove the protective material in front of the unit. Now, install the toe kick onto the unit. Place the toe kick towards the product and mark the point where the toe kick meets the bottom of the tub as the cutoff point. Lay the toe kick face down on a chopping board and score along the marked cutoff line with a knife. Now, turn the toe kick over and score along the same line. Gently snap off the excess. Smooth the edges with a file. Snap off the two end tabs. Slide the toe kick onto the mounting rails on either side and screw the toe kick onto the bottom of the tub on either side. Do not over tighten the screw. Next, let's look at the plumbing and drainage options. For dishwashers using dual air gap or brake with drain hose joiner, Use a commercially available dual or double air gap kit. This provides separate draining for each drawer and eliminates cross draining problems. Secure both drain hoses to a dual air gap or dual brake. The maximum height to the top of the air brake is 37 and 3 8 inches. For a dishwasher using drain hose joiner onto sink trap or waste tee, screw the drain hose support through the high loop to the back wall at a suitable height between 29 and a half inches and 34 and three quarter inches from the floor. Push hose through the drain hose support to required height if space is limited. The inlet and drain hoses must enter the area beneath the sink through the floorboard. This ensures that the hoses are routed in the channel at the base of the dish drawer cabinet and won't get crimped when the dish drawer is pushed into place. Ensure the drain hose is routed straight to the joiner so that wastewater does not accumulate in the hose. Remove excess drain hose material if necessary. Do not shorten the inlet hose. The Y connector should be positioned in such a way 
that one hose is on top of the other. There should be a minimum of six inches drop from the high loop to the Y connector. Now, connect the inlet hose to the hot water supply. Ensure the supplied rubber washer is fitted inside the coupling. Tighten the coupling using a wrench to prevent leaks. Then, switch on the dishwasher. The installation is now complete. Displayed on screen are some basic troubleshooting techniques. For further assistance, please refer to the owner's manual for warranty details and your nearest authorized service center or contact us through our website. The post installation checklist is displayed on the screen. This checklist allows you to check whether the installation has been completed successfully.